Good day everyone, Sir Garrett here. I will help you to learn and explore the majestic and interesting world of science. Session, you will learn the different functions and structures of the human respiratory system. Are you ready for this? Come and join us as we study the human respiratory system. Do you know what happens to our body whenever we inhale or exhale? Are you aware of the different structures involved in the human respiratory system? If not, try to answer these three questions for us to measure your prior knowledge regarding on the said body system. Are you ready? Let's go! Which of the following illustration of organs does not belong to the human respiratory system? A heart B trachea C lungs D alveoli I will give you five seconds to answer the said question. Time's up. Correct answer is A. Hard. Good job. Let us proceed to the second question. Which of the following is the major function of the human respiratory system? A. Circulation. B. Digestion, C. Excretion, or D. Respiration. Again, I will give you 5 seconds to answer the said question. Time's up. The correct answer is D. Respiration. Great! Let us proceed to the last question. Which of the following divisions comprises the human respiratory system? A. Left and right respiratory tract. B. Upper and lower respiratory tract. C. Upper and right respiratory tract. Or D. Left and lower respiratory tract. Again, I will give you 5 seconds to answer the said questions. Time's up. The correct answer is B. Upper and lower respiratory tract. Good job! Let's proceed to the next part of this session. Awesome! You did a great job on answering the three questions. Now, we will proceed on the next part of this session. Do you know the number of times a person breathes depends on their age level and activity? Yes, you hear it right. Children tend to have more rapid breathing rates. For example, newborn babies often breathe 30 to 60 times per minute. Toddlers might breathe 20 to 30 times per minute. Older children and adults when resting usually breathe about 12 to 20 times per minute. Over the course of the day, that adds up to 17,000 to 30,000 breaths per day or more. The gas that enters our body is what we call oxygen gas. As we exhale, carbon dioxide comes out from our body. How is that possible? That is one of the major function of the human respiratory system. The respiratory system is responsible with the overall exchange of gases. That is what we call respiration. Respiration is possible because of the presence of the different structures involved in the said body system. Let us look closer how does the respiratory system looks like. Come! 
our respiratory system is subdivided into two major divisions. Those are the what we call upper respiratory tract and the lower respiratory tract. The upper respiratory tract is responsible as the major passage of air in the respiratory system. It includes the nose, the nasal cavity, the pharynx, and the larynx. The lower respiratory tract serves as the site where the gas exchange takes place. It involves the trachea, the bronchi, the bronchioles, alveoli, lungs, and the diaphragm. Now that we know the two major divisions of the respiratory system, let us familiarize ourselves on the key features and functions of each structure. Nose is a structure in which the air enters. Have you ever wondered that inside our nose there are tiny hair present in it? Those are what we call epithelial cilia. Epithelial cilia are commonly called as nose hair, traps unwanted particles that enters our nose once we inhale. Nasal cavity serves as the channel for airflow through the nose in which the air is warm, cleaned, and moisture. Pharynx is the common passageway for both food and air. Larynx serves as air passage to the lungs holding the vocal cords in humans. Trachea also known as windpipe, is a hollow tube that serves as a passage of air into the lungs. Human trachea usually measures 10 to 16 centimeters long and 25 millimeters in diameter. Bronchi are the two branching tubes that connect the trachea to the lungs. Bronchioles are the finer subdivisions of the bronchi. These are the hair-like tubes which connect to the alveoli. Alveoli is the site where the gas exchange takes place. These are the terminal ends of the bronchioles in which the external respiration happens. Lungs is the main organ of the respiratory system. It is a sponge-like structure in which located in our chest cavity. The left lung has two lobes and slightly smaller in volume. The right lung has three lobes and slightly shorter. Diaphragm is a muscle nestled in the bottom of the ribcage and it serves as an aid in respiration. Do you know that when we inhale and exhale, there are sudden changes that happen in our diaphragm and lungs. When we breathe in, you use the muscles of your ribcage, especially the major muscle called diaphragm. Your diaphragm tightens and flattens, allowing you to suck air into your lungs. When we breathe out, your diaphragm and ribcage muscles relax. This naturally lets the air out of your lungs. Let us always remember that once the structure of the system fails to perform its function, the entire body system will be affected, just like in the organization or community where we live in. If we fail to perform our responsibility as a member of the community, just like what we are experiencing right now, the entire community will be affected with what we have done. Always remember that our actions, whether it is good or bad, affects the community where we live in. For your home delight, try to answer the learning task number one on your pivot module. See you in our next session as we explore and learn the majestic and interesting world of 